Yo, what is up, YouTube man? Today we're talking about the James Harden signature size of the NBA 2K23. Really quickly, if you guys are new, if you don't drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I do appreciate you guys a ton for that. So the James Harden signature size up is a very between the leg spam type signature size up. If that is your play style, this move is perfect. You can do this. I mean, you saw the beginning clip. It looks super nice. Now, I will say for me, standing in one place and then just going between the legs a ton is not specifically my play style, but that is the best thing about these dribble moves. There's something out there for everybody. If you guys don't know how to do this, all you do is if the ball's in your left hand or if the ball's in your right hand, flick the right joystick to the other hand and you can combo that, you can spam it. If you wanna add a hop back into the combo, it looks very nice too. If you flick the right joystick up to the right, if the ball's in your left hand, you'll kinda do more of that sidestep looking thing. It's a very good looking package. I mean, it looks fast. It looks like you're dribbling like crazy. You will burn through some stamina if you're doing it a ton, but just doing it for three, four, five seconds, the defense will start panicking. They know a move is about to happen after that. Got some gameplay for you guys in the 1v1 market. This is a place where I can really test these dribble moves out to the full extent. Right here, this man gets past me with a layup. I gotta figure out if that is a layup animation in the game where they just get past you. Let me know if you guys Use that layup where it always puts you in front of somebody right here, James Harden. Do it for just a couple seconds, step it back. He gives me the three. He's doing the Luka right here. Nice dribble moves. I'm trying to cut off that three, playing high on him again. I got to imagine he's getting kind of tired. He's done that step back three times, does the spin lay right here. I get a nice contest. 44% layup. I mentioned before in videos, maybe those go in a little bit too much, especially since I have solid defense, but hey man, it is what it is. Again, comboing it with a nice step back. He's given way too much space right here. It looks like maybe I'm doing too many dribble moves for no reason, but I mean, check it out. He's just standing there watching me getting mesmerized and I'm able to get to the hoop because of that. I kind of do a little circus layup, but I decide to turn it into a dunk right here. He's doing his little side hezzy right here between the legs, shoots a shot right in my face. What is that man thinking? He's got the Zach Levine shot. What am I thinking? I was trying to change directions. It didn't let me. I end up I mean, I can't complain about that steal. I ran it right into him. Get the block off the backboard right here. That does wonders for my takeover. He's going back at me. And I didn't let him score the previous two times, so there is no chance I'm letting him score this time right here. Another great contest. Overall, the James Harden is a nice move. It's not my favorite, but I think a lot of you guys will enjoy this. Check it out. He's giving me the space. He finally starts to come up, but a little bit too late. I green the shot right here watching that clip back i probably should have shot it a little bit earlier but hey man you know i can't do anything about it now i jump right here for you know play is three way too high a bad defensive habit i got i think everybody is going to be a three hunter when it is the exact opposite people are not three hunters they are dunk hunters james harden that's what i was talking about right there with the balls in my left hand i flick the right joystick up to the right and it gives me more of that side step between the legs instead of just the basic looking between the legs james harden has some nice animations i'll be making a video talking about his james harden step back as well of course he's hitting me with the triple threat pump fake six to fourteen he's got his side i'm not too sure what size up He's using it. Almost looks like Ray for Alston, but I don't think it's that one. I'm going to definitely find it and see how good it is. He gets in the paint, but it is a no mash shitty on me right here. 6 to 14. He goes in again, does a Euro block after block. I mean, you see, it is enough blocks to get me team takeover with the shark, with the shot ready. And that is going to be way too much to handle. Get the space, shoot the shot, green it. 17 to 6 now. He activates his Christmas takeover, trying to get that bump steal by cutting me off, standing behind me now, really just kind of testing this move out because I do not like to dribble around in the mic court way, way too much with these dribble animations. I like to get into the flow of the game and see how it really feels, see if it's going to be good in game, not just dribbling in the mic court. I mean, look at this man going to the left, running back. And I must say, my stamina is actually looking pretty good for how much I'm actually dribbling. Get to the free throw line. A little trolling right here where I just go side forward, side forward. I play a lot of people that do that with the dunking. 22 to 6. One more gameplay for you guys right here. Going up against a 6 foot 7. Now, when I see a build that's 6 foot 7, I automatically think that he's going to have 99 steel. That's a big reason people will go 6 foot 7. Instead of 6 foot 9 and right off the rip, I'm dribbling in his face. And he absolutely makes me pay for it. So, 
you know, sometimes it's simpler just to do this one James Harden between the legs, run to the rim, straight off like that. I decided, let me go ahead and show that for the rest of this video, not me doing it so much, just showing you guys the quick moves off of it. He, you know, he's got his steal, he got his bucket, he has the advantage, takes the jump shot right here, thinking that a lot of people aren't going to jump, they're going to give up the shot like that because they think it's going to be a ghost, but I know better, I've done that one too many times, I'm absolutely going to try to get the best contest I possibly can, dunking it right here with a little bit of traffic, he's got the ball now, goes to the side, goes back to the right, steps back to the three, play it too high, and I get burnt, the only way to make up for getting burnt is to do something like this, slower animations with the James Harden, he reaches, so... You know, no problem. I just go right to the hoop. There's no one to contest me now. He goes right to the hoop. The chase down fails me. I'm actually decent at getting chase down blocks, but none right there. James Harden. I got to watch out, man, for this guy's <laughs> pickpocket. I already know. Not even pickpocket. They renamed the badge. Glove. I got to look out for that glove. Makes me miss right here, but I do get my own rebound. I'm low on stam. I got one adrenaline. I'm just waiting for him to go for a reach, put himself out of position, and it does that. Eight to six now. He's playing good defense. You know if I'm taking some two-pointers, they're playing good defense because I will do anything in my power to get a three. Trying to push him out of bounds right here, right on that baseline. It's a little bit tougher this year. People do not be going out as much as they used to. Again, he's trying to do maybe his between the legs animation. I see he starts wobbling though. The sign that he's out of adrenaline. He has to go to the corner. Times it almost as well as he possibly could. It still says late though. And check this out. I'm terrified he's going to jump at me when I think I have the shot. So I go to the mid-range fade. Something maybe he might not be expecting. I get that. 6 to 10. He tries to go straight into the hoop. I'm cutting off all that though. Make him run back out to the three-point line. This man loves going to the right. I get beat again. He throws it between his legs. James Harden to the left, to the right, to the hoop with the dunk. 8 to 12. Kind of, you know, a little tense back and forth. Again, he loves going to the right. I finally cut it off. He goes for the... I don't know why he actually picked up his dribble, but it almost works. He almost gets something, but he misses the shot right here. A little bit out of control to the fadeaway shot creating takeover. Getting more in my element, I cannot lie. Him getting a steal at the beginning of the game off rib. You know, had me a little bit nervous. Little spin right here. Step back. Those are the shots we take. He gets a yellow, which I'm actually kind of crazy i mean that's crazy that he got that contest but hey we green through it regardless he does his paul george step back between the legs i know he wants to go baseline i mean you know step back again Boy, he's trying to go to the paint cut it off back to the top thinking he's going to go right he's got to save himself some stamina he's trying to rest up three seconds but you know the fade it's just not going to work right there solid just 24 seconds of defense good on me for not reaching to and resetting the shot clock for no reason james harden step it back three pointer got the green light dance going on a little bit 10 to 19 now let me know what you guys think about the james harden signature size up let me know if there's a signature size up that the whole community is sleeping on and it's one i haven't got to yet and i will try to get to it a little bit quicker i want to keep this guy from scoring one more possession but unfortunately he gets the yellow contest we're just going to have to beat him right here with a jump shot. Of course, you know he wants that steal. Puts himself out of position. This is Tonic Man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.